In this video we learn how to set up a score in Sibelius. So you should already have your copy of the first couple of pages of Beethoven's Third Symphony, the Eroica, and we're going to learn how to set that up so that we can start putting the music into it. So we're going to start off by clicking on Start a New Score, and we're going to click the OK button, and this puts us in the New Score Wizard. The first thing that you'll see here is a list of manuscript papers. These are ready-ruled manuscript papers which you get with Sibelius, and we could probably arrow down to here and find an orchestra a little bit like the one that um, Beethoven wrote for under Orchestra Classical. But it might not be exactly the same and I'd like to show you how to set up your exact instrumentation that you need. So we'll go back to the top of the list and choose blank and then we click the Change Instruments button. Now at the top left hand corner of this dialog box you can see a few options. We've got common instruments, all instruments, and then different uh, other groups or ensembles of instruments that you might find in different ensembles. We'll leave that on common for starters, and in family below you can see a list of different families of instruments. So we're going to click on strings, and we want to add our string section. So I can add each instrument by clicking on it, and clicking add to score, or I can simply double click on it, or I can click on one instrument and then command click or control click on a PC and then click the add to score button to add more than one instrument at once. So there we go, I've added my string section. Next instruments I'll put in are my woodwinds. So in family again I'm going to choose woodwind and then I need to find the flute, oboe, clarinet in B flat and bassoon. Now you'll notice in the list on the right hand side that Sibelius has put th those instruments at the top and that's of, of course because it knows correct score order. If you want to change the order of the instruments for some reason you can click on the instrument and then click these move up and down buttons to move the instruments up and down. You can also come back to this dialog box at any time while you're using Sibelius by pressing I for instruments. So you can come back into your score, take instruments out, add new instruments in and change the order at any time. The last instrument we need to put in is the trumpet in E flat. And if I go to the brass family down at the bottom left, you'll see that I only have a trumpet in B flat. And that's because an orig originally we chose the common instruments. So I'm going to change to all instruments. I'm going to arrow down in the list of instruments here until I get to my trumpets. And you can see that there are lots and lots of exotic, interesting instruments here as well as uh, the usual common ones. And I'm going to choose the trumpet in E flat. Now I'll click OK. Now at this point we could actually click finish and go straight into our score but we, if we keep clicking next we can use the new score wizard to set up other elements in our score. So you can see here for a start we've got different page sizes we can turn the page landscape or portrait and the one you've printed out will be the landscape version of the score so you might like to make it this one landscape too to make it easier to copy. Uh, click next and we can now change house styles. We're not going to worry about house styles in this group of tutorials but if you ever get into advanced Sibelius use you'll spend a lot of time worrying about those things. Next we can change the time signature and the tempo. Obviously the time signature here is 3-4 and the tempo marking is Allegro con Brio. Allegro con Brio. Note also here that there's an area for a pickup upbeat bar or what we might call an anacrusis. So if you want an anacrusis at the start of your piece, you should create it here with the time signature. It'll save you fiddling around with odd length bars afterwards. And finally we also have a metronome mark at the start here. Now at the moment there's a crotchet written inside that box, but if I delete that and go to my drop down menu I can choose a minim, and in fact it's a dotted minim, so I can also choose a dot from the list, or I can just simply type dot and it's dotted minim equals 60 so I'll just edit that number there. Now if I click next again I can now change the key signature and of course here we want it to be E flat major. Last but not least we can change the score info so I can type symphony number 3 the composer is Beethoven Whoops. and so on and so forth once I'm happy with everything in the new score wizard, I click finish and Sibelius will create my score for me ready to go.